Hi everybody, welcome to my video. I begin in the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Dear Lord Jesus, I ask you to help me as I record your words. I beg you to dip every word I speak in your precious blood, so that they will reach the hearts and minds of all those you wish to communicate with. I ask this of the Father in your holy, sweet name, Jesus. Okay. This video is entitled, Jesus Speaks About the Difference Between Crosses and Burdens. And my friend's at uh, her, um, her living room table, I suppose, doing some mending, when Jesus appears to her. And Jesus says, I will speak and you will write. And Jesus begins to say the following. When you come to me, you ask for assistance. You ask for help with your burdens, but you do not lay them down and leave them there. You go away and plan how to take care of them, forgetting that if you lay them down in my arms, these are the hands which should deal with them, mine, the mind which should solve the problems, mine, the ideals to be served. I ask that you lay the burdens down to take up the cross. The burdens are your own. The cross is mine. They are often confused. Burdens are what you place upon yourselves mainly. Concerns over people, over family, over jobs, over whether the repairs in the house can be paid for, and such others. These are your burdens which you take up yourself. When you bring them to me, I carry them sometimes for you, sometimes with you, sometimes I take them away completely, sometimes I assist you with the load. There are times when it, it, it is expedient to leave them as they are, for there is a lesson to be learned. When you take up the cross I have fashioned for you, it is another matter. The cross carries grace. The cross could be what is termed a weighty grace. You are puzzled. And he looks at her and says that. And th then he continues to speak. For each his cross is fashioned, say tailored, if you will, to fit him. When you take up the cross, gladly the grace provided for this acceptance makes it an acceptable burden. Someone with a child who is in some way damaged, mentally or physically, um, has had a cross placed upon him. A cross which redeems both him and the child itself dependent, of course, on how well he carries that cross, how uncomplaining, how lovingly. If a man loses his sight through no fault of his own, it may be that this is the cross he has been allocated. A man loses his house or some other personal possession which he lays great store upon. This may be his burden which he has fashioned for himself. I help with the burdens, too, for all are my children, and my mercy does not extend to saints only, but to sinners as well, for these need me most. Learn to differentiate between the burden and the cross. One is your creation, as, as such you can dispense with. The other is mine, and as such I give the grace to deal with. I am a merciful God, and burdens I also help to bear, even though in many cases they are fashioned by those who are carrying them. There are also times when burdens are laid upon one which was not of his making, but placed there in some way by another. This is sometimes fashioned into a cross, for it was not of the recipient's design. Tell them, I am a gentle one who holds my sheep lovingly at my breast when they come to me in good faith and with the love that I claim is rightly mine. Claim, but do not demand, preferring to draw them to my heart with the gentleness of the lover. Tell them this. I hold my sheep close to my bosom, my children against me, my cohorts, my servants. Whichever category one falls into, they are still all my children, and yet my mother's children too, referring to the um, Blessed Mother Mary, his mother. Jesus continues, I hold all close when they come to me. 
gentle with love. Even my enemies and their threats are ignored at those times. I am gentle even with them, preferring to reserve their punishments for other times, for nothing must disturb those moments of gentleness when I hold my loved ones close to me. Tell them. Tell those with whom you are in touch to shed unnecessary burdens, those of their own making, those which are not of their own making, are part of the cross. My yoke is sweet and my burden is light, because the first is attached with graces which give sweet consolation, and the latter is carried with the assistance of burden bearers. The angels which assisted me when my cross became a burden remind them that the saints in heaven too are also willing burden bearers. Call on them, the saints which include everyone you can name from the Bible, and even more, St. Joseph, even Mother Mary, of course, even though she's greater than a saint, St. Teresa, St. Padre Pio, St. Francis of Assisi, St. Philomena, St. Rita, St. Anne, Mary's mother, St. Cosmos and Damien, the twin doctors, St. Patrick, great saint, there's so many in there there to call upon. Jesus gives us permission Okay, may you be blessed by these words in the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen.